So now we're gonna. This is the last class on offense that I teach. It's how to implement a circuit. Actually, this is the first time you you are exposed on um, designing circuits from scratch, and you should use all the tools at our disposal, with which include all the configuration from the offense. But we would like to provide a circuit that does these operations, which is multiplies one voltage by three and the other voltage by minus five and adds the two. So I could, I could do this. Oh, we can't touch X and Y. X and Y could be positive or negative. So you can't just say, here's minus Y. I'm just going to multiply it by five. No, we need to multiply one by one of them by three. So this is X, I'm multiplying by three. This is Y, I'm multiplying by minus five. And then I can sum the two. And this is F. So I could implement a non inverting amp that multiplies X by three. So this is X which is a voltage supply or an input. And this, to multiply this by three, I'm gonna select 2K and 1K, and I'm gonna hook this up to ground. And then minus five. This is 5K, this is 1K. I can put this in zero, oopsie. I want to invert it, so I'm going to put Y here, and this goes to ground. So now, here I have minus 5Y, and here I have 3X. The problem is that when I use a semi-amplifier, which is my third block there, so 1K, 1K, 1K. Here, I have the voltage is minus 3X plus 5Y. Because a summing amplifier is actually a, uh, uh, an inverting amplifier, so the signals have to come into the minus. If you have this situation in an exam, you can... Fix it two ways. One, adding another op amp here and inverting that signal. You still need two resistors, unfortunately, but you would get away with that, right? So this inverts, so this is 1K and 1K. Here, I have F of X and Y to be exactly what I asked. Alternatively, I could go back and say, you know what? Instead of, I'm going to implement my black version of this will be times minus three and times five, and then add a summing amplifier that actually changes the sign. So my second, my black version of this implementation of the circuit design will be very similar to the other one except here it's going to be 1k and 3k and x here it's going to be minus 3x because I'm going to hook this up to ground in the second one I'm going to need a 4k and a 1k here because I'm going to hook this to ground and this to y so that here I have 5y And now I can use this as the difference in amplifier, or I'm sorry, the summing amplifier. 1K, 1K, 1K. And here is my F of X and Y. It's minus three, I mean three. <laughs> because it's into the negative input, minus 5y, with three op amps. 
You know, I challenge you to do the same function with two opiums. Uh, actually, I take that back. I challenge you to do that with one opium and four resistors. So this is, um, that's the ninja version of it. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe four resistors. So this is straightforward. Um, eventually, you're going to be able to design circuits that can implement derivatives or integrals with opiums, incapacitors, and resistors.